I am Cody Walden. I am a certified rigger. I am responsible for inspecting the rigging, determining its working capacity, and properly attaching it to the load. I'm going to explain how to determine the safe working load for rope. This safe working load is a number that represents one-fifth of the rigging capacity. Let me explain. Safe working load for rope. In this example, we're going to be using three-quarter inch nylon rope. First, you put the diameter into eighths. Three-quarter inch rope equals six over eight. Second, we multiply the top number, which is six, by top number by the constant. Let me explain constant. If this was a manila rope, the constant would be 20. If this was a polyethylene rope, it'd be 35. If it was a polypropylene rope, it would be 40. Since it is a nylon rope, it is 60. And then you come over here and you get 6 times 6 times 60. 6 times 6 is 36 times 60 is 2,160. The answer is in pounds. So you get 2,160 pounds, which is the safe working load for this nylon rope. Safe working load for wire rope. Cable or wire rope, like this here, and chain is also wire rope, for example here. In our example, we will be using a half inch cable. First, you multiply the diameter times the diameter times eight. In this example, it is a half inch. So you take one half times one half times eight over one, or one times one times eight equals eight. And then two times two times one equals four. Eight over four also equals two answer is in tons. So a half inch cable with a safe working load can pick up two tons or less. Thank you.